Hey, what's up you guys? Good morning. So in today's video, we are going back to Chalice and Collectibles. So let's get started. Right, you guys so we're in the San Ina mall where chalice and collectible is so we're gonna see what we could get today uh, most likely gonna grab the scorpion if they have the chase also uh variant uh the price is right then i'll probably grab it but for now i do want to get the scorpion to complete the set and this is the live action uh my stepdad's here actually um he's trying to get the tapatio man today but uh we might find some sports stuff for him but uh be right back till we go inside all right, you guys, we're in Chalice and Collectible. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so me and my stepdad are inside Chalice and Collectible. So let's see what we could grab for the channel today. Other than that, happy hunting. See you guys in a minute. What's up? I don't know, I'll check that right now. They got Bender, you guys. They got the Jack in the Box, Conan. Uh, I think there's Zombie Conan. Oh, well, there's a Zombie Martian. Uh, pretty dope section. This is the one I kind of want to get. Conor McGregor. That's a grail. Two-pack Roger Rabbit, you guys. Let's see what else we got. Now, here's the next shelf with grails, you guys. We got the Mitsumu. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Chase. Ahsoka. 15. My Hero Academia. This is basically My Hero Academia, you guys. Kid Boo. Chase going dark. Yo, who remembers this show, man? This show was lit when I was young, man. This is a good show. We got Cora, you guys. Glow Chase. Star oh, this wasn't here the last time I was here, you guys. I got the Red Hope Chase. Abominable Diamond Edition. We got the Thor. This one's the one I'm debating on getting right now, you guys. Uh, so much. That's a lot of money to drop, but we'll see. Uh, some Star Wars. Grails, you guys. You got the Luke Skywalker right here, you guys. That's badass. Now, memory shows you right there, asking for 130 for this, but we'll see. Uh, not too bad. Oh, King Candy, Wreck-It Ralph, you guys. Metallic three pack, Game of Thrones. All right, you guys, we're in the WWE slash sports football. My stepdad's going crazy right here as we speak. He already found two he needed, so not too bad. Nothing I need, obviously, but for wrestling, ah, uh, if only they had the chase. Well, I could ask if they had the chase. But uh, Austin, you guys, pretty cool. By the way, I want to throw out the 18 inch Batman right here, you guys. This is sick right here. Never seen it out of the box store right now, but awesome. By the way, what's up, you guys? We're right here at Chalice. What's up? What's up? Pretty dope, you guys. But let's go get Scorpion. All right, you guys. So we're basically near the retro toy slash movies slash video games. Oh, there it is, actually. Alrighty, this is what we needed. Try and get a good box. Is this a good box? Yep, this is a good box, you guys. This is the one we're taking today. Still need the chase, but uh, so far, video game section, you guys, so check it out. But definitely taking this bad boy, so need this to complete the set. So you guys know I'm a Scorpion fanatic, so I cannot leave without taking the Scorpion. This as well, please. Thank you, boss. There's more sports right here, letting you know. Right there on the little booth on this side. Right here on this booth, right here. All right, you guys, so we got the Pokemon section right here. Uh, we got Bulbasaur, which is the... I don't know. I'm still figuring out what this is, but if you guys know what it is, leave a comment. I'm trying to figure out what that is still. Uh, we got Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Eevee, so not too bad. Uh, we got Naruto, Shibudan, if anyone needs them, because I know Funko's running out. They got the Hello Kitty Olympics, some Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you know, this is something I hardly see nowadays, you guys. I rarely see the fairy tales. I think this is my first time actually seeing them 
in person for a minute. So if you guys need them, they're right here. So come get them, you guys. <laughs> Definitely come scoop them if anybody needs it. Pretty dope, you guys. They have Mookie right here. Corey. Yeah, you guys. So whoever needs it, you Dodger fans, come get them. All right, you guys. This is actually their... I think this is the second, no, this is the third shelf for Grails actually. So we got Freddy Funko, it's a thousand pieces. I guess we got Golden Freddy, Idol. I mean, 50 pieces, you guys. Well, that's however you want to say it, technically. Uh, Freddy right here as well. We got Superman Freddy. Uh, this is uh, Kurt Cobain Freddy. And we got Football Freddy, you guys. Then we got Freddy Funko, that's 500 pieces. Then we got the limited piece Freddy with the fish. We do have Taurus Freddy actually, so that one we're good on. We got Michael Jackson, guys, Notorious B.I.G. This isn't the metallic, but this is the old school original one, number 18 at the time. Man, bunch of grails, you guys. Bunch of grails. All right, you guys, so as you saw, that's basically all the grails they got right there, but um. Let's go check what's behind the shelf actually and see if I'm able to film that for just a little. So if anyone needs Loki PX exclusive, this came with a bundle t-shirt and a comic book. So this is right here. Um, anyone need the black lights? This is the special re-release. So this is basically your second chance of getting it if anyone needs it. Uh, two pack one division with the kids. Hey man, they have it, you need it, come get it. Let's see what else we have here. They got the Luchas, they got Chases, you guys. They got Marvel Core exclusives. Not too bad. They got Tuma, however you say it. Old school, you guys. Classic, classics. If you look right here, they actually got a bunch of more Chases right there. So, pretty cool, you guys. So, they got the Scorpion Chase right there. I need you guys. We got some grails up in here, you guys. Grails. Anyway, if you guys are soda fanatics, they got some sodas here too, you guys. Uh, Gosa Chichima. They got Rick and Morty. Uh, you name it, you guys. They have it. All right, you guys. So it looks like we're taking these Wonder Womans for my mom because you guys already know she's a Wonder Woman fanatic. So pretty cool. Anyway, you guys, we're back to filming. My bad for the little lag. Uh, we had to make a quick phone call, see what people needed. Uh, but let's see what we can scoop up today right now, you guys, because uh, there are a lot of options today, and it's not a joke. You know, it's a sad part. I'm going to go broke today, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> but let's see what we can get. The moment, so... Anyone needs it, you know, it's right here, just sitting here. But this is a dope pop, you guys. I mean, I have it, but if you guys need it, it's right here. This is a great detail, honestly. But anyway, anyone needs them, they're right here. So come get them, you guys. Okay, you guys, so they have the Venomized store that I've been needing for my Venomized collection. I don't know how much they're asking for. It is an exclusive to here, so uh, if it's for the right price, I might get it today, but we'll see. By the way, you guys, this is badass right here you guys imagine having this in your own freaking living room or bedroom actually it's pretty cool i am loving it by the way to all you my hero academia fans dragon ball z they're all right here a little bit of everything you guys so anyone needs it right here right here all right you guys the hunt is over. I got what I needed. My step guy got what I think he mainly got for what my mom needed, technically. But anyway, guys, stay tuned for the review when we get back home at JJ Funko LA. See you guys back then. How is it when I'm trying to look for it and not look for it? It's right here. Jesus. Hey, what's up, you guys? So we're back from the hunt. And as you guys saw, we went to Chalice and Collectible. It feels so good going back to that store, to be honest. But very happy we were able to go for the second time since the pandemic since the lockdown other than that you guys if you guys saw in the video you saw what we grabbed you saw what we we're doing um but besides that let's get right into it and see what we got so the first thing we have here is tapatio man which is basically the 
I guess you could say the ad icon for tapatio, which is a little spicy sauce that everyone knows and love. But yeah, you guys, here is tapatio, man. And uh, this one's actually my stepdad's here. This is actually his personal one. Um, it's about time they released this. I wonder, I forgot when they had teased it. I think they teased it about, what was it, like a year ago or the beginning of this year? But if you guys know, leave a comment. But um, besides that, you guys, if I were to say so myself, um, this Tapatio man is really on point. The only difference that they added was he's holding the Tapatio bottle, which is actually pretty cool right here, actually. So, uh, Funko, great, awesome job, honestly. And the box color is basically your typical white, like the Tapatio. So, honestly, can't complain. And if most of you are wondering uh, why the top of the lid is a little bump up, it's not that um, Charles got them like that or anything. It came like that because most of y'all don't know the sombrero he's wearing is freakishly huge. So um, basically it's pushing it up a little. So that's normal if you guys are wondering. But um, besides that, this is my stepdad's tapatio right here. So again, uh, Charles, thank you so much. But, but let's get into the next one. So the next thing we have here is actually a personal favorite of mine. And it's a personal. I've been wanting this since the day of the release. I was unable to get it due to the pandemic again. Due to the lockdown, I completely forgot about it until I saw it physically right there, you guys. And I was like, no freaking way. I am taking you. No questions asked. We got the Venomized Thor Chalice Collectible Exclusive, you guys. This is an amazing freaking pop, you guys. This is an awesome Thor. And most of y'all don't know, Thor is one of my top five. But this is a sick pop, you guys. The outfit, the detail on it, it's amazing. I kind of wish they would they should have done this a glow pop to be honest it would have been dope but besides that you guys it's an amazing pop and most of y'all don't know i believe this is actually the second wave of venomized leave a comment if you guys know if this is the second wave i believe this is oh no and again you guys thank you for the dope protector because protectors like these are pretty awesome in my opinion you guys but other than that this is a sick sick pop but uh let's see the next pop we got all right you guys last but not least and again if you paid attention to the beginning of the video we got scorpion you guys this is scorpion from mortal kombat the live action uh besides that you guys before i get right into this actually uh, my family was nice enough to get me sonia which is number uh 1056 for this set now i won't review her today but friendly special announcement next video for tomorrow's video that will be dropping tomorrow at jj funko la on youtube by the way, if you guys are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You're coming back, you might as well rewatch us and be subscribed. Come on. But besides that, stay tuned, you guys, because in tomorrow's video, we're going to do the complete set of Mortal Kombat live action 2021 set. So let's make it happen. We'll do a video for it, and we'll talk about what we're missing, but we'll get to that in a minute. All in all, going back to this. This is a sick pop, you guys. Honestly, the detail towards the armor, everything about the coloring is great. It's like a rustic gold yellow definitely how scorpion should be now if you guys are wondering jj what do you think of the movie uh this is my opinion you guys um i feel like they overhyped it in my opinion was the movie the greatest no do i think it's better than the originals no but do i think it have better graphics than the original absolutely besides that i like how they introduced some of the characters i think most of the movie was actually not too bad i think the main disappointment for me personally as a fan growing up with the video games and the og movies um what i didn't like was the scorpion again spoilers if you guys have not seen the movie i'm gonna repeat it spoilers 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 so if you guys have not seen the movie do not watch this part because i am gonna burn it out i'm giving you guys a heads up again spoilers anyway you guys so going right into it um Personally, the disappointment of the movie for me was Scorpion was hardly in the movie. That was the main person I was more excited to see in the movie. Um, he only came out in the beginning and then basically the ending of the movie, which was, that was it basically. And I'm like, that's it? I mean, I was better off watching The Legend of Scorpion or whatever it was called. That one, that animation was freaking amazing, you guys. All in all, you guys, if you were to ask me my opinion, I give the movie... I give it a 5 out of 10 just because it had its its plus and flaws. That's just me personally. All in all, I think the cast wasn't too bad. Um, I think most of the cast was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie about it. All in all, you guys, um, love this set. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We will review the entire Mortal Kombat set, so stay tuned. Friendly announcement. If you guys have 
the Scorpion Chase for a fair deal. DM me at JJS Funko LA because I need the chase. No chase left behind. So let me know, you guys. But anyway, let's get to the end of this video. All right, you guys. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to us at JJ Funko LA. Follow our Instagram at JJS Funko LA. Leave a comment. Let me know which was the pop of the day. Was it the Tapatio Man, the Scorpion Live Action 2021, or the Venomized Store Chalice Exclusive? Let me know and happy hunting.